And, you know, as, as part of the evaluation, he was most impressed with how easy it was to use the software. Very, very simple, very, very easy to use. I think we spent about two hours of training with the guy, so he was up and running. So Glenn, uh, we were just talking recently about our customers in the petrochemical industry, and why don't you share a little bit more about uh, what their uh, typical issues are when you come and visit them at their plants? Well, Matthew, as you know, there's <clears throat> all types of equipment in, in a particular operating unit, whether it be a, uh, a refinery or a petrochemical plant or, or uh, beer manufacturing or light manufacturing or whatever. So you've got tiers of equipment that have different levels of importance. And the highest level is those pieces of machinery that forces a shutdown or a reduction in operating, right. which of course is a reduction in, in profit and revenue to these customers. So typically you've got uh, something like a VC8000 system that would be used for their critical pieces of machinery because they can't afford to lose those things and generally they're on automatic shutdown with some of the monitoring parameters because they cannot afford a wreck. So having these systems provide actual machine protection is probably their key uh, initiatives in monitoring their equipment and maintaining their assets. Right, right. I'm sure it's, <clears throat> it's extremely vital for these customers. Uh, I think that you may have a, <clears throat> a, a more specific example that you just recently came across. Would you mind sharing that? Uh, sure. Uh, <clears throat> I might just add a little bit too that these critical machines can be both centrifugal rotating equipment as well as reciprocating machines. But uh, this particular application was one in a petrochemical plant that had three main uh, tr uh, trains, such that if they lost one of the trains, then they would have to uh, actually have a complete outage. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we're doing from a sales and marketing standpoint is offering free trials for customers that will go in and actually put in a system for two to three weeks and let them evaluate the hardware as well as evaluate our condition monitoring software. And we don't interrupt their operation at all. This can be done while they're operational. We simply take the buffered outputs from the existing system as input to our system. It does no monitoring. It simply digitizes the waveform that we're able to use uh, to look at with our condition monitoring software. So we're offering these to uh, customers that uh, want to take a look at our systems and that's certainly open to anybody. If you just contact us, we'd be more than happy to get a get a schedule and get you into our schedule to go ahead and do that. With this particular customer, it was a critical machine train that they'd had some problems with. So we elected that one for the trial. And as it turned out, they had a problem uh, during the uh, trial period. The machine actually tripped mm -hmm. and their existing system, unfortunately, did not catch the trip but our system that was there on a trial basis did catch the coast down. So the customer was able to use our condition monitoring software from our hardware to take a look at the data and determine that it was okay to go ahead and restart the machine. So wow. a real success uh, on a trial system, which is uh, pretty unique, quite frankly. Sure, another another happy BNK Vibro customer. Exactly. And you know, as, as part of the evaluation, he was most impressed with how easy it was to use the software. Very, very simple, very, very easy to use. I think we spent about two hours of training with the guy, so he was up and running. Awesome, well thank you for sharing, Glenn. You bet.